Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the NZAV XT Tempest 410 case. Now this is a mid-sized tower case constructed from steel and it is black. Now look at the box. Well, it's nothing to look at, is it? But this is what you call a budget case or in that kind of category. This is not an all aluminum case and so on and so forth. So you know what? The box not being, well, perfect doesn't mean a lot. And to be honest, a lot of people buy things online anyway. But in any case, there is a picture of the product on the box and also features and specifications about the product. Now, I'm going to open this actually from the box and flip it upside down and pull the box off. It's a little on the heavy side, even though it's a mid-sized tower case. That's because it's of steel. So, before I flip it upside down here, have a peek. Styrofoam on either end, and the case itself is in a plastic bag. Now that the box is off, let me remove the styrofoam and the bag. Now, let's have a closer look at this case. Now, this might be an affordable case, but that doesn't mean it's not really good and jam-packed full of fantastic features. The overall styling on this is not bold and it's not too simple. It's somewhere in the middle. At the top there's all mesh here for an optional two 120 millimeter fans to be installed. There's also a compartment here at the top. Push down, flip this up, and you have a couple of places here to put different things like flash drives, whatever else you want to put in there. It's quite nice. Here's the power button and reset button. By the way, these buttons are quality. You know, they're not those old clunk a chunk push down kind of buttons. You know, it takes like an inch or a half an inch to turn the case on and the case off and the button gets stuck. Good buttons. A couple of LEDs, one for hard drive activity and the other for power. Three USB 2 ports and one USB 3 port. Here's the audio jacks, microphone and headphone. There are three external five and a quarter inch drive bays and these covers can be removed quite easily. And there are filters incorporated in these drive bay covers. Now they include one 120 millimeter fan at the front. Look at this. This is ingenious. To remove it, push on either side, pull it out. Contacts right here. See the other contacts in there? No cables. Nothing. You want to replace the fan? No problem. Takes a standard fan. You just got to plug it into here. No problem. No special proprietary fans for this. Get a 120 millimeter fan, put it in here, and then connect it to here, and then put it back. Now they only include one 120 millimeter fan here at the front, and by the way, this one intakes cool air. You can though put an optional 120 millimeter fan in this one as well. And note the dust filter, it's on both of these. On the left side panel, you can install up to two optional 120 millimeter fans. The right side panel is plain. At the back, they include another 120 millimeter fan and this one exhausts warm air. So you've got one at the front that they include. I would recommend putting another one at the front as well that pull in cool air. This one exhausts all the warm air. Here is where the motherboard's IO shield plate gets installed. A couple of, of holes here for cables or water cooling tubes to pass through. Some ventilation and more ventilation here on the expansion slots and there are seven expansion slots. At the bottom, is where a standard ATX power supply gets installed and they include four thumb screws, two on each side panel. Inside the case, I found this, a small box. In this box, there's a user's manual and all kinds of screws, motherboard standoffs, cable ties, etc. This case fits ATX, mini ATX, micro ATX, flex ATX, and mini ITX. Now, if that's not enough form factor motherboards, well, I'm sorry, 
but there's probably not a case on the planet that will fit that many form factor motherboards. Inside the case, as you can see, it's all black. Now, unfortunately, the motherboard tray is not removable, but there's lots of cable management holes, so you can route those cables behind the motherboard tray, and there is a fair amount of room to do that. And note, the very large hole on the motherboard tray. At the bottom, they have rubber rests for the power supply to lodge on. You can also install another optional 120 millimeter fan at the bottom if you want to. Toolless design for both installing five and a quarter inch drives as well as three and a half inch drives. There's no toolless design for the expansion slots. Care to guess how many internal three and a half inch drives you can fit in this mid tower case? Eight. That's more than some full tower cases. What size video card can you fit in this case? Well, it's a little complicated, so let me go through it right here. Without the hard drive or hard drives installed, you can fit a video card that's up to 315 millimeters in length. With just the bracket, you can fit a video card that's 290 millimeters. With the hard drive installed, though, you can only fit a video card that is 250 millimeters in length. And CPU heatsink or cooler support is up to 170 millimeters. Four rubber feet at the bottom and a pretty Mickey Mouse power supply dust filter, but it is removable. Not that easy to get back, you kind of got to, you know, put it back into place but it is removable. That's what is important with this. Now, have a listen to the stock cooling. Now, there's a reason why mid-sized tower cases are a favorite, and it doesn't matter what category you're in, whether it's the gamer category or the work category. People love mid-sized tower cases because they will not break the bank, number one. Also, they're not too heavy, they're not too light, they're not too big, and they're not too small. This case has pretty much everything you should be looking for in a mid-sized tower case, and then some. Now, this has kind of a military tank, hardcore kind of theme. This does not have a simple, elegant, theme. It's not all aluminum. It does not come with a removable motherboard tray, but it does have all of the basic stuff that you need. Now, it also comes with an insane amount of internal three and a half inch drive base. So if you are in the market for a mid tower case that has, you know, the possibility to install a lot of three and a half inch drives, well, this might be the product for you. And I really like how they've designed these front two fan compartments because no cables are getting in the way. Overall, this is a great product. Until next time, take care.